Welcome back guys. Uh, in this video we will see how to set up auto markings and custom markings on our uh, project. So we have our road here. So in order to do so we, we will simply uh, force performance mode again just for a gaining performance and then we will simply drag the auto markings uh, generator into our scene. So now that it, it is uh, selected, we simply uh, need to do a classic Alt S, Alt R, Alt G in order to reset um, the transforms. And inside the auto markings generator, we simply need to go and call the roadscape object. Okay. Now we can go back to the roadscape object and uh, turn off the performance mode. And as you can see, we have our uh, road markings that are uh, automatically, automatically, procedurally generated and also unwrapped. So this will be present on uh, the entirety of the mesh and uh, auto markings will uh, simply uh, divide the road into uh, all the roads into and uh, also uh, generate uh, side road markings. As you can see, everywhere we have a div uh, division of the road into, even on extractions. We will uh, soon remove them in a minute and also uh, on the sides, as you can see. OK, so now we need to deal with the uh, extractions. So what we can do, we can disable extra gen. We can go back to uh, roadscape performance mode and we can select, uh, for example, the uh, extraction uh, edges so this one this one this one is also an extraction we also have one here and so we sim we can simply go back to a uh, vertex group and we want to simply uh, assign marking default remove to them okay so now if I go back and I turn off the performance mode and I enable again the <coughs> the auto generator, we can see that the markings are gone on the extraction. So here we they should be also gone on here. Perfect. We don't uh, we didn't uh, need them here, neither here, neither here and neither here. OK, so what we can do as well with the oh, we forgot. We forgot this one. So let's deal with it. We'll simply select this one and also assign here. Let's go back and let's see how it, it looks. OK, so this is perfect. Now what we can do uh, more, we can also uh, set uh, a part to be uh, dotted. So let's say we go around here and we will say we want all of this to be dotted and not uh, continuous. So we simply select marking default dotted. And we assign okay we can go back outside of performance mode and now uh, all this part this part here is going to be dotted and then it will follow up with continuous okay so this is as simple as it comes and we can also set up a center line to be yellow for example so let's do it we're going to do it on this section only maybe and so the, the same you can just uh, select marking default yellow and assign. OK, we can go back outside of performance mode. And as you can see on the uh, selected edges, the center line is now yellow. OK, very good. So now maybe we want to. Uh, I think maybe here we will want to have uh, a dotted on here. Makes sense. So let's just add dotted here. Perfect. Uh, I think this is good. Now I think what we can do, we can probably uh, just add some custom markings as well. So especially on the uh, extractions. OK, we will see this in a minute. Also, we could probably get rid of the uh, marking here since those are uh, single lanes. So let's do it. Let's go back into performance mode, select uh, all of this. So we are going to select all this and up there. And we are selecting remove assign. OK, we are going to do the same here. 
here and go select all the way up there and assign as well and we should be all set if we look at it now it's perfect those are uh, simply uh, single uh, single lanes so we don't need the marking in the middle of it okay perfect so now we are going to bring the custom markings so just as uh, the auto marking you drop it in the scene and you do uh, alt s alt r alt g you go into the menu of the custom markings and you will also uh, select the roadscape object roadscape 3.0 uh, object and so this one is a little bit different the geometry is generated uh, directly inside it so you can go into edit mode uh, in the marking custom generator and uh, you are greeted with uh, one edge which is there in the middle of the, the world and this edge is a custom marking so what we can do we can go back to face project and then we can uh, bring uh, for example this custom marking uh, let's say here around the, the the bridge and we will simply select one bit of it and put it here and select the other bit of it and put it for example uh, maybe here okay so that's it's pretty much a straight straight line and it follows uh, the main road okay and so this uh, indeed just uh, set up a custom mark uh, at this very uh, place okay so that's good what we can do we can go back into edit mode go into vertex and say we want it to be a dotted line okay so we assign dotted and so this custom marking now is a dotted line okay so as you can see this is uh, how simple it is to create some custom markings in a roadscape and to uh, customize your road system very easily now we have a bunch of other options into the custom marking uh, as well we will go back into the custom marking generator we will maybe probably just duplicate uh, this i will do something like this and we will try to do a crosswalk so let's say we want this line to be like this we will select this line remove dotted and we will simply add cross crosswalk okay nothing happens is no it's normal it's because the um, mean vertex crease is set to zero if we uh, increase it you can see that the crosswalk is now appearing and then we can adjust it by simply uh, maybe have it it's like this uh, I think this is good and so as you can see we now have uh, a crosswalk uh, that is procedurally uh, generated and uh, unwrapped as well on our mesh uh, we can also uh, duplicate it uh, we do also have uh, a crosswalk bent so this one is a little bit different and it is uh, on the side okay it is uh, useful in order to do like for example you could have you know uh, on an extraction you could come over here and you could like set this to be here set this one to be here and then you can select only this vertex and you can reduce its size just like that and you know you could for example just bring it like this and maybe also reduce the size of this one around here more like something like this and so, and so with the cross uh, road bent you could you know simulate those uh, kind of uh, things that you can see on the road on uh, on the extraction and if we wanted really to uh, finish it correctly we could always duplicate this put this here select this one put this here notice that i'm always on face project so that the vertex are sticking onto the road mesh and then we can probably do something like this and we could potentially remove the dotted from this and it could be a straight line continuous line so as you can see this is uh, how easily you can create uh, custom markings as well those custom markings uh, do not have to be uh, completely straight they can be also bent so for example i can select uh, this bit around here subdivide it and as you can see it can be uh, whatever you want it to be 
you can simply it works just as the road uh, works and you can do uh, anything you want with it okay so for this example we don't have to uh, do something crazy so it's good enough and uh, the last one is uh, the checker red which can uh, be used for example to do uh, racing uh, end lines so let's remove the crosswalk from this and let's add the checker red and as you can see you can uh, as well uh, change the dimension sorry i didn't need to select everything you can as well uh, change the dimension of the checker red uh, as you like and so uh, that's all you can uh, as well have some uh, more custom uh, markings so that's basically it guys for the custom markings and the auto markings uh, it's very simple to use and as you can see it uh, can uh, really help to have something uh, going on really quickly so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one